what is good ape nation it's stock j back with another video and in this one i'm going to be talking about the one and only amc stock and help you guys better understand what's going on with amc i'm also going to talk about why what i told you what i told you would happen after the fomc meeting is actually playing out i did make a very very how should I say correct prediction I was correct about the balance we are seeing for AMC I'm also going to break down what's going on with the Fed right what Jerome Powell just announced that's very very huge for the market and AMC going forward and why I'm very bullish for the next upcoming weeks for AMC now, before I break this down and get into any more details I do have to mention a couple of things real quick the first thing is I'm not a financial planner, so please don't take this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, it benefits the entire ape community as a whole. And the last thing is if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link down below and in the description. Now, I do know that Weeble uses payment for order flow, but please hear me out when I say this, because with Weeble, you could get some free AMZ shares for your Fidelity or TD Ameritrade accounts. And here's how this works. If you sign up with my link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, whether it's $1 or $100, it's up to you. You're guaranteed five free stocks, each worth up to $2,000. And you could always sell these five free stocks for cash and use that cash to buy some AMC shares for free. Or you could transfer the money to TD Ameritrade or Fidelity. This is a limited time offer to get your free AMC shares. It ends in just one week, in just seven days. So please check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So anyways, looking at amc at the time i'm recording this it's up over two percent it's probably going to close a little bit higher than that uh, by the time we get to closing but right now things are looking a lot better for the market and amc and it does look like we found our next temporary bottom and we are ready to start pushing to the upside from here on out so why do i think that well in my previous video if you guys were watching it i talked about how today is the big day today would be the FOMC meeting day, which means that the monetary policy changes from the Federal Reserve would be announced. And this is when Jerome Powell and the Fed would announce what they're going to do with policies, to what degree they're going to kind of alter their balance sheet reduction and raise the federal funds rate, which is going to affect interest rates, the cost to borrow market, the cost to borrow money market, excuse me, for the entire country, for other countries too, that are all going to be affected by this. They are well aware of everything about how this is going to have a massive effect on us. So now I want to talk about why this is very important. So I told you guys in my previous video that many analysts had anticipated a 98 to 99% probability that we would get a 50 basis point rate hike or a 0.5% uh, increase in the federal funds rate. So as a result, rates are now going up, just as I had predicted, by half a percentage point or 50 basis points, just as we predicted. Now, people are saying this is the biggest hike in two decades, this and that, but it's not that insane. I would say that this is already priced into the markets, right? The market already anticipated this. And on top of that, right, the big thing is that the Fed is fighting inflation in a way where we had expected it. There's nothing that caught us off guard. They didn't announce a 75 basis point rate hike. And because the market loves certainty, obviously the market would most likely respond positively to this. This is what I told you yesterday and two days ago. I did tell you that I expected the market to drop in anticipation of this. Then once it's announced, the market's going to reverse and see a big move and AMC would move like that too. And right here, we're also seeing a reduction in its bond holdings by $95 billion a month, which means the Fed is becoming more hawkish. They're less involved in our economy in a way. They're going to be less I'm trying to say that they're, they want our economy to be less dependent on them to thrive. They want us to be more independent, less dependent on their money, and they want interest rates to go up, essentially, so that the economy slows down and they address inflation. So anyways, when, when we go back, right, AMC has been dropping and dropping and dropping. Now I see this thing showing signs of a nice reversal. You can see right here, our bottom was at $14.61. We got a nice push up after that, a big drop, right? This drop I was talking about, the big drop before the meeting started. AMC went back to that 14.83 range. It, it kind of stayed in the $15 range for a lot of the day. And then all of a sudden, Jerome Powell came and he ended up speaking and he ended up making some big announcements. Not necessarily big announcements, but I would say comments on our economy. Some of the things he said were, I don't know, kind of kind of stretched the truth in some ways but in other ways he he said some very very good things that i i think he was pretty reasonable he was very data driven 
And as a result, the market did end up bouncing to the upside, doing very, very well. So what on earth did Jerome Powell end up saying? Jerome Powell, he basically said that job creations or job creation is doing very well in America. I don't necessarily see it that way. I think that there are lots of jobs that already exist that still need to get filled. So there were some kind of stretches here and there. He also talked about how the Fed is very committed to actually fighting against inflation, doing their job, and improving the output for millions and millions of Americans across the globe. And, you know, people across the globe too, and Americans. He also talks about the fact that the Fed is going to be working for another potential 50 basis point rate hike during the next meeting. So the next FOMC meeting may be, I'm not sure if it's going to be in June or July, but around that time, we are probably going to see the market drop again. So this is the way I see this to make this very simple. I think the market's going to be pretty bullish for a lot of the month of May and starting right now. So I expect the market, if you actually look at the SPY, okay, the SPY has this gap right here. Check out this gap. I'm trying I'm trying to zoom into it. Right here, there's a tiny little gap that's going to bring us maybe back to the 430 range. See, there's another gap right here around, what is that, 427 or so? So we filled that gap already. See, we filled the gap pretty quickly. I don't see a new gap forming right here. I don't really see that. But what I see happening is I think we're going to actually run to the upside, fill another gap, maybe make it back to the 437 to maybe 440 range. And I think the market's going to rally. Who knows? Maybe the spy will go as, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> as high as uh, 450. That's also a possibility. We get a temporary bounce to the upside, a temporary relief rally. So the, the spy could end up pushing up for maybe a couple of weeks and then it's going to drop again as we approach maybe june maybe as we approach july around that time i expect another drop and we may end up dropping below that 405 range you have to remember that so as for the market what i think is happening is this doesn't mean we're at the end of the bear market right this whole bear market we've been seeing for the last couple of months it's not over just yet we're still on a bit of a downward trend, but we're going to see some temporary relief to it for the next couple of weeks, in my opinion, because look at what happened in, in March, from mid, the middle of March up until, I would say, close to the start of April. There were moments where the SPY rallied for many, many weeks, and I think we're in a, going to be in another rally like that for the next few weeks, because this is what happened after the FOMC meeting, and I expect some pretty darn good moves. So because of that, as you can see, the SPY, AMC has a tendency of following the SPY. It's very possible AMC is going to start running to the upside too. Is this going to be the next squeeze move? Is it going to be the next massive run up to $72? I don't really know, right? We don't truly know how high AMC is going to go. But because the market's so bullish, I do think AMC is going to get carried with it. So for the next few weeks i expect amc to be back in the 20s i think we're going to slowly approach the 20 dollar range maybe go as high as 25 to 30 perhaps we could go that high then if we follow the market the market's going to drop a little bit later but it doesn't mean that amc has to drop it's possible that eventually shorts start to cover i don't really know what's going to happen maybe something will happen i don't know but at the end of the day if you're just trading this or even watching AMC based off price action and trying to get good buy opportunities, I need to warn you that we're going, we're going to be on an upward trend. And if we follow the market, AMC is going to run up and drop again, but we don't always have to follow the market if we enter that squeeze mode. If we enter squeeze mode next week, two weeks, three weeks, and a month from now, this thing could just squeeze at any given moment, which is why you have to be very careful when it comes to how you try to play AMC, how you try to buy it, what, what you try to do with options. Be very, very careful. So anyways, with that out of the way, I want to thank you for listening. I want to remind you, I'm pretty darn bullish for AMC. I think this thing is going to be back in the 20s very soon. So just be patient, be ready, and the time will come. With that out of the way, thank you for listening. Get ready for the nice rally, and I'll see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon and peace out.